Virgo. What is the word, yo? It is me, where it is she, where it is Viva, it is Scorpion, Red Tarot. I am back at it again, one time for the one time. Yes, indeed, my love. So let you know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of April 2021. We're here to have some fun. The party has just begun. And y'all see these, uh, you know, spring blessings starting to blossom and open up to you, Virgo. Listen. I know that you guys have been enjoying yourself and been on your best behavior. So y'all just get ready. Y'all just get ready and get prepared, honey. So listen, I want to give a shout out to all my OG. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every one of my babies who have liked, share, subscribe. Click this video if there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading with me. Or if these videos resonate with you and you just want to send some love and just, you know, to help, you know, just keep everything generating and operating over here. Um... You guys can check the description box of this video. I'll give you all the information about how to book with me and how to, you know, send love and support to the page. You can always check out uh, the About tab on my YouTube page, which gives you the same information. If you don't have uh, Instagram, which is the best way to contact me if you want to book a read and or just you know shoot me a message instagram messenger is the best way to message me if you don't have instagram messenger just go ahead and shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com okay so anywho let's get into the energy for today you know as we always do we like to acknowledge and give father god his flowers immediately immediately okay not later not you know somewhere down the line you know when we really need to call him no we give him his blessings his flowers his acknowledgement his praise now you know so yeah when we receive those blessings it's well deserved you know i feel like people need to understand like stop calling on god when you are in need you need to make sure that you speak to him and bond with him every day and just like regenerate yourself in his given love you know, his nurturing hand, man, it, it make you understand life so much better. That's why we praise him every day in every way. So, Father God, just continue to keep your blessed hand over the sign of Virgo. Father God, you already know what the word is, Father. We've been speaking to you every day. We've been praying to you. We've been thankful for every single step that you've been putting in front of us, Father God, because we know it's been all pre-planned and our destiny is already sealed in gold, Father God. We thank you so much for that sun shining on our skin kissing our skin father god we already know we're in <laughs> we're in the in crowd father god we've been anointed with your blessing it ain't luck father god ain't no amount of luck in this world that could be bigger better than the blessings that you have already planned and planted on our footsteps father god we thank you so much for this path father god we thank you so much for this journey that's been times in this journey we didn't understand but as we're growing and we're just like flourishing father god we understand every single lesson and we appreciate every single blessing in the name amen father god continue to just like put your imprint in our life i want every single person that sees virgo and see these blessings that are coming into our life i want them to understand it ain't me it's god's doing amen amen and amen. Father God, please give us the guidance that we need to receive today for the sign of Virgo. Thank you so much for being our best friend, Father God. Thank you for letting us in, for initiating us, you know, to a higher frequency that people don't even understand. People walk around here just living, Father God. They don't even understand what we're doing, okay? <laughs> Father God, I ain't mean to preach too much, but it's just, I don't know, it hit me. So, you know, I got to speak when the Lord want me to speak for him, Father God. So thank you so much to, you know, for me being your messenger right now, for Virgo, allowing me to speak on their behalf to you. And in Jesus' name, we thank you so much for every single thing. Amen and amen and amen. Please give us the guidance that we need to receive today for Virgo for April. Amen. All right. Let's get into it, Virgo. We done did a whole bunch. Okay, so listen. What I'm doing today, I'm doing general energy, career and finance on this end. Um, I have a lot of bevy of cards. We're going to do one card from each one of these decks. Over here, we have love. We're going to take two from these cards, okay? So let's get into it. Hold on, ain't that how Mr. Miyagi used to do with Daniel's son? Hold on, we're going to worm these hands up, okay, Pablo? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Yes, come on, Daniel, side. 
Daniel's son. That's the one, Daniel's son. Okay, hold on. Is that with you guys? Daniel's son. Listen, Mr. Miyagi said, Daniel's son, you the one, Daniel's son. Come on now. All right, you better warm my hands up. Let's get heated, okay? Woo! I know, like, when I was doing that, it was just like, ooh, that, that energy. It just got me like, woo! Okay, come on. Let's see what we doing now, Virgo. Watch out now. What we got for Virgo for April? Give me one card for Virgo. Thank you so much for April 2021. Ooh. Uh -uh. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so even though I said I wanted one card, I got to acknowledge this dead end card because this one hit me more than this one. This one, I just want you to continue to speak blessings into your life. I feel like you are just, they're saying something about erotics, eroticism, like you have an awakened mind, like, um, they're like heat warmth, like it's something about, um, the regeneration of life right now is springtime things like the sun is out. Um, the plants are it's 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 like the awakening it's like the the earth is awakening how the plants come up out the soil and it's just like you know have you ever seen the plants lean towards the sun wherever direction that the sun is going um it's something that's being unearthed out of you your mind is opening up i think you're starting to speak a lot of blessings in, into your life um i want to say you have a lot of confidence in your skills um so I, I, I i'm not trying to like literally jump into the love sector just yet but this is like telling me it's a lot of confidence in your body your physique your sexuality just who you are who you are becoming i feel like you have finessed yourself like you are like you feel like you are walking dynasty like people it is like it they're saying like following your imprint or something like that it's like i don't know it's something about speaking jewels like you're a carrier of information or people learn from you they might not understand now but they'll get it later but it's like it's jewels it's an imprint it's an imprint or maybe it's something that you don't understand now hmm this it's like it's something okay so i gotta bring up this dead end it's like you're changing it's like you have to turn around and go back out and find a different way it's a dead end do you understand so it's like it was meant for you to learn to change the direction that you're going because it's like you're not meant to go there anymore like there's nothing there you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like a quarter sack. You know, like how you get twisted up in a neighborhood and then you get turned up in, in a fucked up quarter sack. And then once you get in this quarter sack, it's like total bad energy. And you're just like, uh, let me turn my ass around real quick and back the fuck up out of this neighborhood. Oh, no. Oh, hold, hold up the ghetto. Okay. Where's my Nene Lee's voice? Okay, bitch. We in the ghetto. Bitch, I did not. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't know where my frequency got turned off with my GPS system, but bitch, I did, I did, I did not say we was going over here. Skrr. We need to find another exit and way up out of here. This is not the way I wanted to go. It's something about you being forced to turn around and back up. It's like I'm seeing someone walking backwards out of this situation because it's like you want to keep your eye on what these people are doing in front of you. So it's like you're slowly walking backwards out of the situation because I'm keeping my eye on you and once I get at a safe because I'm seeing it's like you're walking back but you're looking the both sides and you're just like you know like that and they're saying it's like then you're going to turn around and run but it's like because I feel like someone feels that they're saying like it's a dead zone. It's like a dead frequency. Like have you ever I'm picturing like a quarter sack someone turning into a quarter sack and it's it's like it just weird fucked up energy there and like your cell phone ain't working and your GPS system like the signal went out and everything and it's like oh no I gotta get the fuck up out of here but it's like you see a place where it's like a whole bunch of broken windows like abandoned buildings it's just people standing around not good looking it just I don't know and your cell phone went out and your GPS and it's like I gotta get the fuck up out of here mm. 
Mm. Okay, we gotta keep going. We gotta keep going. I don't feel like going too much into this. But I wanna see what the arrows means because I don't know exactly what that means off the top of my mind. Let's see real quick, real quick, real quick. It says love as a desire, eroticism, sensuality. It says when enlightened means passion, playful, sexual health. When in dark it means madness, projection, obsession. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. So again, like I said, I didn't think that um it's something about that diamond. When I see that diamond, I'm picturing, I don't know why I'm getting like a Marilyn Monroe. Like you know how you see Marilyn Monroe with her blonde hair and her necklace with the diamonds and just like, I, I don't know, I'm getting like sexuality, sensuality in those lips. Like that's what, it's just like speaking to you, being confident in yourself and all of that stuff. But that dead end zone right there. They says, okay, um, I'm getting something about, it's like when you stepped into this area, it's like you drop off the radar. So, again, I'm saying like someone drops off the radar, it's like um, no sales service, no GPS service. It's like you drop off the radar. And you see that hand, it's like trying to get the trying to back up out of there trying to get up out of there it's like got tangled up in like a bad neighborhood or some shit i don't know that's what i'm getting so y'all watch where y'all going especially like if y'all are in a place where you don't really know nobody or something like that this is zaha hadid hadid it says sign your name on the dotted curve the numbers must add up to artwork. Move forward and the world will catch up. Sign your name on the dotted curve. Hmm. Numbers must add up to artwork. What was this whole thing they're talking about? It, I was watching something about cryptocurrency and it's some new thing that everybody is doing. It's like digital art or something. I don't know. I feel like y'all need to look into that. The dotted curve. I'm still seeing something about y'all backing up out of a situation. Sign your name on the dotted curve. That's the, I don't, I don't, um, because, again, I'm getting this cul-de-sac thing. So, I don't know if you guys were about to, like, invest in that. I don't know if it's cryptocurrency or if it's, like I said, digital art exchange. Whatever the hell that is. I, I'm really feeling like someone is, like, they walk into it and it's just like, mm-mm. Something is just dropping off the radar. It's just the frequency ain't hitting. It ain't hitting you or something. And it's like instead of. It's like you come in and you go right back out. That's kind of what I'm getting. That is what I'm getting. I'm so serious about this. Y'all watch what y'all doing. Getting into this cryptocurrency. And all of this stuff like that. Because. I feel like someone's going to hit a dead end. They're going to hit a dead end. Like, I, I, mm, mm, mm. Watch what y'all doing with that shit. I don't know. That's just like what my heart is screaming to me. It's like, you're going to go in and you're going to back right the fuck up. Because they're like, it's dark. You don't hear nothing. You don't see nothing. Nothing's moving. Um... There's no frequency. There's nothing. It's just emptiness or something. I don't know if it's like if 
And then you got the two of swords in the reverse. So again, I'm getting like... They're saying like illegal exchanges to me. Like pay attention to people's wording. Um, Who's giving you advice? Who you are listening to? Make sure that you make decisions on your own. Um, The numbers must add up to artwork. The numbers must add up to Art Myung. Someone please help me out because I don't know nothing about that digital currency stuff. But I know that someone is going to see this and is going to be like, I was just looking into this shit. I know what you're talking about. I was just about to invest and do something in this or summon something. This digital currency something. And, it, 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 mm -mm. and it's like, if it does not. If it does not, if it's not a, a, a co-worker to your current endeavors, if it's not going to help co-produce what you're trying to do in the future, if it's not going to become a major asset for you, um, where it's going to constantly uh, be getting some type of resi residual or it's going to help make your profile look better because it's something about someone being at odds with some information is given to them um i feel like some people are saying certain things but then when you come back to them and ask questions it's a dead zone and it's like hello is anyone are you listening like are y'all getting my phone calls like did to y'all like what happened Did the frequency drop off like what the fuck is happening and it's like someone is being forced to have to turn around and listen to yourself listen to your inner heart you know what i'm saying because you have to keep yourself on balance you have to make solid decisions based off of your judgment and your intuition so in this place right here it's like you were in a state of confusion because it's like you got the 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 angel on one shoulder and the devil on the other shoulder it's like someone trying to convince you to do something and it sounds good but the angel's telling you to watch yourself pay attention listen to what they're saying watch the fine print why are you having a sign on a curvature you know what i'm saying typically you sign on a straight line like what's all of these little curves and these little watch yourself the numbers must add up to artwork you know, it must add up to artwork. Continue to speak jewels into your life and move forward. And then everyone will catch up to what you're doing. But right now, and I don't know who Zaha Adid is. If y'all know who she is, put the information down in the comment section. So I'm pretty sure all of this is going to come together. But please pay attention to the information that you're told. And they're saying that the game is to be sold and not told. That's okay. It's like in this business, you're gonna have to take a loss to come up. You gonna you're gonna get swindled. You're gonna get manipulated. You're gonna get conned a few times before you really understand whatever this game is. And I swear, it got something to do with cryptocurrency and all of this stuff like that. Like, ooh, y'all watch yourself with that. Give me one card for um, Virgo. Once y'all keep getting these same two cards. And then you got the flowers and the justice card. And the flowers card came out in the reverse. So, um, mm, they just, okay, I'm getting May flowers and April showers. Like right now, it may be. It may be a lot of, it, I don't know if it may be some storms going on right now, but storms is to help replenish and to provide, you know, substance to the earth so that things can rejuvenate and grow. So right now, I don't, especially if it's like your flower bed, if you're like 
a real earthly person you like growing plants and things like that I feel like right now um, there's probably going to be like a like a heavy raining period I want to say it may affect your affect your crops like it may be too much water or something and like the you got to wait a second for the earth to kind of sop up all of that moisture and everything before things really start growing. It's, it's been like a lot of rain or it's a lot of downpour or something like that. Or someone's having a lot of downtime or something. That's what I'm getting. And then you got the justice card. So with this justice, I definitely feel like there is balance. It's like something isn't coming in and it's not being produced right now because... There's things that have to get put into the balance. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, like, you will receive your flowers. Not right now, but in May. That's what I'm getting. And there's going to be karmic justice. There's going to be balance. I feel like there's going to be a value lesson that's learned. Um, it's like, you have to understand how things are produced in whatever industry um it's tailor made to give you slow residuals does that make any sense so that is the way that the, it, it's tailor made slow residuals hmm interesting it says working with the flowers Opens up your heart and brings the blessings to others through your life purpose. It says your career brings fairness and protection to others who need your help. Hmm. Let's see what we got going on over here. Give me one card, please. Thank you. One, one card for my Virgo. Okay, I just okay. I just heard open up, talk to people. What's going about? What's going on? People are will help you. People are here to help you. You need to talk to people about what's going on. Um, they're saying like you're not getting any reciprocation. You're not getting any information back. It's like, what the fuck happened to my money? What happened to, like, huh? You got the sincere friend as well. Like, so again, open up and talk to people and tell somebody about what's going on. Like, there's someone that's there to help you. Like, I feel like, regardless as to what's going on in your life, like, continue to operate on a very high frequency. Don't close yourself off. Don't like undervalue yourself because you've reached a dead zone with whatever this was like i feel like you thought it was going to be an open they're saying like an open air market why am i saying this shit i don't understand any of this shit that i'm saying i'm pretty sure y'all understand it whatever whatever i'm not even gonna okay fixate myself with trying to understand but you got the um what is this here is this the queen of clubs so the queen of clubs this is like someone that um there's like they're very intuitive. They're like a very action oriented person. So where is though? Um, this could be like your mother or someone that uh looks to you as a son or someone that is young and don't know no better or don't really know how to communicate and talk to people efficiently to get certain shit done. Whoever this woman, she's about action. Like she has no problem with confronting people like maybe in her past life she was like a fighter or something like that but she's extremely beautiful she uses her personality and her charm um she loves to smell good and all of that stuff like that like she used all of that stuff to confront challenges in a positive way it's like she uses a very confident and beautiful demeanor to make things work for her but at the same time she don't mind fighting dirty and getting dirty but motherfuckers do you understand what i'm saying so like she could have some type of like high ranking in some type of organization or something like that i'm sorry i didn't realize that um, thing was given a glare she could have like some type of role in some type of organization that could give you some type of aid or um 
Like I said, her communication skills or whatever, she can help you find a solution to something. I don't know if this is like an auntie, like a stepmother, or somebody that you know. But whoever she is, she's beautiful as shit, and she knows what she's talking about. She knows what she's doing, and as soon as you tell her what's going on, that things have like just dropped off, and you ain't heard nothing back about the situation about your, you know, and people having you sign on curved like, I, I, I don't know it's just like something is not making sense and she's going to help it make sense for you because whoever this is it's a sincere friend sincere friend like seriously and this person will go to the limps that you want to, to get some shit done so like there's justice. I feel like you need to talk to someone that will go the limps that you will not go. Because I'll get a very passiveness with this group. It's just like, okay, I I, I just need to back up out of it. I, I feel like you, you were just about to drop it and just let it go and just be like, it's okay. I'm just going to keep moving forward. Because, you know, move forward, the world will catch up to you. Like, you're going to just go ahead, whatever, with your current ideas is or whatever it was that you were going to do before this opportunity but this girl's like uh-uh you're not about to just let these motherfuckers play with you like that no ma'am no ma'am miss pam i do like green eggs and ham i do like that action um give it here give me this information who is it okay give me mm -hmm. let me make a few calls i got you baby mm -mm, i'm gonna get my people on it don't worry about it that's big mama right there mm -hmm, that's big bertha right there big bertha <laughs> Big Bertha says she ain't about to play with you about her people now. Big Bertha don't play about her people now. Okay? Alright? <laughs> okay? Ring me along. Okay, listen. We done called the pop. <laughs> Give me the guidance, okay? Ooh, Lord, y'all got unrequited love. Give me one more in love for Virgo. I said one more, please. Thank you very much. And that's several. Just one. Okay. One more. Clarify this unrequited love for Virgo. Chemistry. I, okay. So this is what I'm hearing. Before the chemistry even came out, I just heard that it's just like, it's not interesting anymore. It's not interesting anymore. Uh, the chemistry is, is, it's not there. Not there. So, at this time, Virgo, I feel like it's battling within itself. It's like, do I just deal and stay in a situation that's comfortable with me, but I know that there's no spark, there's no... I don't even feel like there's not even a, a real desire to want to have sex or like there hasn't been intimacy. Um, and for my singles, I'm definitely getting that... Um, you're not even remotely interested in anyone that um, has been trying to talk to you. Um, and things could possibly be dry, not because there's a lack of options. I'm not interested in those options. I need something where it's a spark. It's like, I need something that's going to ignite me. Something that's going to excite me. Something that's going to give me them shivers up my spine. You know, I need all of that and just... Mm. I'm just getting like some uninterested energy. It's just like something has just been thrown off. And it's just like I need things to pick up in a major way with some spice and some spunk and tenacity. It's like I really, I'm trying to, it's like y'all are trying to pick things back up. But it's just like how can you do that? And I'm just like uninterested in everything that's been coming my way. So clarify this for me. Give me one card for unrequited love. And give me one card for chemistry, please. For Virgo, for A4. Alright. You got the king of torches. You got the king of torches. Okay. Alright. So, ooh. Y'all just said, I need someone that is gifted and experienced and love making skills and just shivery and just knows what direction that he wants to go. Or this could be you guys right now, Virgo. You guys could be feeling very dominant. Um, it's like you're ready to conquer, like 
conquer your next conquest not necessarily saying like a conquest in a negative way like this is just one and many of my conquests no it's just like i'm ready to like fulfill this vision because the king the king of torches is someone that is very passionate very driven that is a goal oriented person so it's like whatever this person's uh drive is right now which could very much so be love like i'm not interested in what currently stands before me i it's like my eyes are drifting in another direction. And if it's drifting in another direction, then that means that I need to go. The King of Wands is not someone that is a stagnant individual. They are a circer. They're, they're a seeker. You know, they um, are an, an initiator. So you guys may be initiating right now. Um, I want to take things in a different direction. I really want something that sparks my interest and that gives me, uh, the, it says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So like, again, um, and again, this could be someone that is very confident in their love making skills. This can be someone that's very confident in their work and their skills and their abilities. Like you may be, um, very passionate and very driven in your career sector you may have a lot of things going for you like very influential that's what i'm getting so it's like mm, i know what i want i, I very <laughs> like i feel like a little cocky too because it's like i i, I it's like kind of got that big dick syndrome but you know what i'm saying it's like i know what i want I know what I'm looking for. This isn't it. I'm just not going to waste my time. So I feel like someone has initiated a conquest because they're not interested in what's going on in their life right now. Um, mm -hmm. All right. All right. It's not enough. Give me one more about this King of Torches. It's unrequited love and it's chemistry. Tell me about Virgo. For April. Give me one more card, please. Thank you very much. One more card, please. Two of Pentacles. I'm right now. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I feel like this person is focused on their opportunity. Um, they feel like enriched with the op with the ability to like influence growth in their life. They feel more stable. Um, it's like their their spirit is more uplifting. It's more jovial. It's I feel like more satisfied. Um, this Virgo is that is is has even the playing field because again I, I feel like with one hand washes the other. Um, you know what they say? The don't let the the right hand tell the left hand what it's about to do or something. Like no, my hands work within unison with each other. There's no secrets. There's balance. There's reciprocity here. So. I definitely see something here where, um, and it's like some boobs here. You see like these boobs. Uh, can y'all see that? Don't it look like a body, a body silhouette? Don't it look like a pair of boobs? Are y'all getting this? Is this a pair of boobs? <laughs> Why do I feel like this is like this man is staring at this girl's boobs? At this woman's boobs. I don't know if this is someone with like. They have a titty fetish or something. What <laughs> And it's like. The most perkiest and prettiest boobs I've ever seen in my life. It's like this person makes me horny. Like I'm definitely feeling it. Like this is what I'm like. This is what I've been asking God for. Like this is the shit that's going to keep me growing. Like this. Ooh. Keep me growing too. Do y'all see? Ooh. It, 
do you see all that greenage in the background all of that growth and stuff like that so I'm definitely feeling like a state of arousal and things going upwards like things look going up going up going up and it's stuck like <laughs> Jesus, Louises, y'all, like this one kind of gets what you're, where you're going, what you're talking about, oh, and do you see that spark, listen, do you see the spark right here, like maybe every time you touch each other, like y'all keep getting that static shock or something, like y'all keep shocking each other, Ooh. This says something about, um, this is like more my body type, more my body type. Cause I am getting like exercise as well. Cause whenever I see green, greenage and like, I always look at that as like someone's health. Like you could be drinking a, like a lot of green stuff, you know, like them little green shakes and all of that stuff like that eating a lot of salads um i'm definitely getting working out to like juggling like doing something that is and it, it's and it's something about you are uh, pressed with someone's femininity their silhouette their shape um it, it might have to do with you know the fact that someone they work out they eat healthy they're lean have a, like something about a better diet okay I'm not doing all of that I'm not doing all of that I'm not doing all of that you got the separation card and then you got the clock card so again I definitely feel like you guys are separated from somebody you clearly got the unrequited love and then you got the king of torches that is definitely moving on in search of other conquests something that you know meets their desire that gives them that thrill and that happiness something that arouses them something that gives them more of a state of arousal so here there was a separation and you know you know, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, you got to move on. Um, you said sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Um, there's possibly someone that's um, feeling this way. Maybe the Virgo is feeling this way too. I'm getting a lot of male energy here um, or focus on the male energy. Um, let me try to say this for the females. Um... I feel like for the females that there can be like an unrequited love with someone that you're dealing with, Virgo females. Um, there could be some chemistry there, but the person that you're dealing with could possibly be a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo male. Um, I definitely feel like this person is more obsessed with your body type and the image. And uh, I feel like they think it's a more, it's a, it's a good look. Like, more than anything else it's something about this chemistry here that's not working for you because you got the separation and then you got the clock and the reverse so I, I definitely feel um if this is something that's more based on just sexual chemistry and don't really have substance because okay other than the fact that you are attracted to me and that you love my titties like I need to make sure that we are on the same page, that one hand washes the other, that we feed positive in, you know, positivity into each other. That it has to, it's about being grounded, it's about substance. So, you know, I, I need someone that has more in their heart, you know, and not just worrying about stroking their loins, you know. So, um, I feel like you want someone that has that masculine, that dominant, that powerful energy, that confidence. They know that they're sexy. They know that they're good in bed and all of that. But you got to bring me something that your honesty, you have integrity. You you, you really, um, you're trying to pour something into what we're doing. It's not just about you. It's about us. 
It's not just about sex and how attracted we are to each other. How can we build something with each other? That's what you're looking for. Um, the chemistry is there, but I, I feel like you guys want something from someone that is fantasizing that wants something more than just loving your big ass titties. I feel like someone that's watching me got some big ass titties. <laughs> like that give someone like an instant state of revival arousal but in regards to love nah sexual chemistry there yeah but i need something of substance um for these men with this time being in the reverse um i definitely feel like there's no more time to focus on the separation um go after what you want like go after what you want i feel like when you really, um, just be honest with yourself. Like, I, I don't want to have any more time spent in a situation that I feel like it's just not giving me what I want. It's just not, it's a, I'm not looking up to spending more time with this person. Like, I'm really not. Like, I really want somebody that I'm more attracted to. Some, I, wa I want to go after someone that I feel more comfortable with no offense but that's just on period so it's separate and be done with it don't waste precious time if it doesn't work it don't work stop trying to force something I don't know if like you're just not attracted to someone anymore or again you need the chemistry the spark whatever y'all had died out it's not there no more you guys are turning each other off. It is what it is. Find the spark. Do what you got to do. You have your confidence. You know your skills, capabilities, and all of that. You know what you're attracted to. You know what gets you going. Go do it. Stop wasting time. Release it. And focus your energy on something else. So... And again, this clock set needs time, takes time, ends time, cycles, time to heal progress. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Anyway, guys, I'm about to get up out of here, Virgo. I love you. Thank you for spending your time with me today. Y'all click that like button. Make sure y'all try like, share, subscribe. And hit me in my inbox on Instagram or email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com if you would like to book a reading.